Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Wait, I can't see you. Oh, sorry. It's okay. So this is just like a trial for the piano lesson, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm teacher Kina. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're, is it Evan? Yes, Evan. Okay. Hi, Evan. Okay. How old are you, Evan? I'm 13. 13. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Um, I will be teaching you the basics first, okay? Because I heard that um, this is your first time. Uh, I can do a little bit. Oh, you can do a little bit. Okay. Can do you read notes already? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I, All right. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Um, I can show you what I can do so far. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, for Elise. <laughs> Hello. Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. I just want to know <laughs> that if he's comfortable learning like this and if you are comfortable teaching him. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yes. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll leave you with, uh, with leave you guys with uh, for the next 25 minutes. Be before you close the session, mm -hmm. uh, could you just request him to call me? So I just want to have a quick chat with you. Okay, okay. No okay. worries. Okay. And uh, also call Ethan towards the end. Okay. Why? Oh, he will also learn. Hey. Yeah, okay, fine. I mean, we can have different sessions, not together. Okay. I have a yellow one also, so he can also let him also see it once. Okay. All he right. has no idea about this, though. Okay. I'll leave uh, you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay all right uh, can you hear me yeah all right okay so um yeah let's get started okay this is just a 30 minute class because it's just a trial class but mm -hmm. if you're gonna proceed then uh i might i i will uh suggest an hour class for you right. okay for your age you're 13 right mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna show you the book that we're going to use Okay, so uh, please don't be surprised because there are, um, what do you call that, drawings and colors, okay? But these are the, what do you call that, um, fundamentals, okay? The big, the, the start, okay, for, uh, that you have to learn when you play the piano, okay? Then later on, we will be reading notes, okay? All, All right. right. Okay, I'm going to be showing you this. All right, hold on, huh? And here we go. Okay, so this is the name of the book, uh, Piano Adventures, Primer Edition, okay? So I'm going to be showing you the, the first, okay? So this one, okay. So we're going to learn how to sit properly first when we play the piano, all right? Yeah, I know there are drawings and uh, yeah, we will be using a different book. Don't worry, okay? We're we're gonna skip uh the other, what do you call that? The other pieces here, okay? The easier ones, okay? We're gonna be moving forward to to the difficult ones, okay? All right, okay. So yeah, you have to sit properly. So just sit up straight, and yeah, make sure that your back is straight. Yeah, it it just shows how to sit properly when we play the piano, okay? All right, and you know already that we have, okay, you know that already, no no need to talk about that. When we play the piano, we have to uh, make a round shape, okay, in our hand. Yes, it should be curved. Yep, okay, correct. It's like you're holding two stones underneath your hands. All right, yep, okay, good. How did you learn the, the piece that you played earlier? Or at least. Oh yeah, how did you learn? I self-taught myself. You you what? I self-taught. Oh, self-taught. Okay. I just saw a video called for least basics. Mm -hmm. After watching it once, I just tried to copy exactly what he was doing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. All right. Oh, you just copied uh from the video, yeah. but there's no score. There's no piece. He didn't actually show his hands. It was just like one of those programs that played it piano. Oh, okay. 
understand. Okay. But yeah, the, the notes, um, the note reading. How's your note reading? I have no idea. I'm a brass instrument. Okay, all right. A, a what? A brass instrument. I used to oh, come. Oh, okay. All right, I see. Okay. <laughs> no worries. Okay, and about the finger numbers, no problem about that. You know already that your thumb is your finger number one and your pinky is your finger number five. Okay. Yeah. Always remember that. Okay, good. Now, we're going to skip to this. Okay. This one is really basic. Yeah, it's just about the the high and the low sound on the piano. Okay. So, if you want to go, yeah, it's it just tells here that uh, if you want to play lower, you have to use your left hand. And if you want to play higher, you have to use your right hand. Okay. You have to go to the left side of the piano if you want to play lower. Because the keys on the left side. They are low keys, all right? And then uh, the keys on the right side, they are high, high keys, okay? All right, great. Now, yeah, this one, uh, this one <laughs> is about uh, the two black key group and the three black key group, okay? You know that already that the piano has two black key group and three black key group, okay? So we have black and white keys, all right? Clear with that. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> having a, a quick discussion with you okay about this because we don't need to do this really okay it's really easy okay yeah. okay wait huh there okay i think you know this one already the quarter note oh yeah okay yes the quarter note receives uh what do you think how many beats oh it's already written here okay it receives one count okay all right so whenever you see a quarter note Okay, always think that it receives one time, a one, one beat, okay? One beat or one count, all right? Everything clear with that? How about the parts of the note? Do you know that? The head and the stem? A part of the note? Uh, yeah, the part of the note. We only have two parts, the head and the stem. Um, I think that takes like two beats or two left. I don't know, this one, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about the, the parts. So this is the note, right? Yeah, can you see my, my cursor? Yeah. Okay, this is the note, okay? So we have the head, head, this one, and then the stem. All right? Okay, now, yeah. yep. Okay, we have uh, two types of uh, note, okay? We have the up stem note and the down stem note, okay? So the up stem note looks like this, like the normal one. So this one is for the right hand. All right? Okay. And then the down stem note is for the left hand. This is what the down stem note looks like. Okay? okay. Everything okay? <clears throat> okay, great. Now let's move on. Okay, not that one. <laughs> okay, let's move. Okay, maybe we can try this one now. All right? So we will be playing this on the three black key group. Okay? Mm -hmm. And yeah, kindly put your... Uh, both of your hands on a three black key group. So do you know how to find the middle and the low three black key group? Like the middle or low temp? Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the middle with that, sorry. Um, is, are you using a piano or a keyboard? Uh, it's sort of both, I guess. <laughs> a keyboard, okay. All right, so um, you put your uh, three fingers, right hand first, on the, wait that. Uh, on the third three black key group. So it looks like this. Uh, okay. Third three black key group here. And then you put your left hand on the fourth. So they're just close to each other. Like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything good? Okay. Now that you already place your fingers, let's play this one. Okay. So here we have notes and numbers. Okay. So you're going to follow the numbers written on top and at the bottom of the note. Okay? So oh. here are the finger numbers. So we we have um, quarter notes, right? So these are all one beat. So what you're going to follow are the finger numbers. And it says here, do you have finger, uh, firm fingertips? So that's what I'm talking about a while ago. You have to curve your fingers. So that you can play with firm fingertips. Okay, because you have to use your fingertips when you play. 
So we're going to start with the right hand since this is an up stem note. We'll be starting with which finger? Finger number two. two. Yes, finger number two. So we're going to do two, three, four, three. Two, three, four, four. Can you give it a try? Yeah, for a firm finger, fingers only, okay? But you have to, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you have to keep your left hand, okay? Because right after you play the right hand, You'll be moving on to your left hand, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? Oh, so you're, oh, sorry. We, we need to count first, okay? Maybe you can count in four before you start playing. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, one, two. Ready? Then you play. Two. Are you still playing? <laughs> because I can't hear it. Okay, one more time, Mama. Mm -hmm. Two. Oh, I go for left hand now. Um, can I hear the right hand first? Okay. okay. Then go to your left hand. Oh, that's finger number two. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, good job. It's just a warm up for you. Okay. All right. You know already what this means, right? The double yeah. bar line. Okay, it means it's the end of the song. Okay. Yep. Okay, next. Yeah, okay. It's almost the same as that one. Now we're going to move on to the next one. Okay, this one. This is the half note. Okay, the one that you uh, you told me a while ago. The one that the, the note that receives two beats. Two beats. Okay, yes. Okay, that's a half note. Okay. Same thing, this is the head and this is the stem. Okay. <laughs> is that your brother? Yes. Okay, how old is he? Um, he's nine. Oh, he's nine. Okay, all right, I see. <laughs> all right, so uh, yeah, as I was saying, this one receives two beats, okay? So it looks a little like the quarter note. It's just that there's no shade in the head. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. Let's try. Okay, this one is a combination of a quarter note and a half note. Okay, can we try this piece? Yep. Right after this, I'm going to show you something. Okay, I'm going to, we're going to skip to the staff. Half note is a little shorter than a quarter. So, I mean, a half short is a little longer than a quarter note. Oh, this That's one, a little longer, yeah? Yes. All right. It's two beats. Yep. Oh. Hi, wait, sorry. Yeah. If there's no number, it means it's the same finger. Okay. All right. So we have two, three, four, four, three, two, then. Three, three, two, three, four, four, four. Okay, let me try that. Okay, now let's try the left hand. Okay, so it's three, three, two, three, four, four, four. Go. Yes. Okay. Everything clear? Yeah, I guess yeah, it's it's okay. Okay, do you know how to uh identify the, the keys on the piano? Like where is C? Which one is D? Uh no. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, we will be talking about it. All right. Hold on. Uh. And you know this one, right? The dynamic markings. The mm -hmm. forte and the piano. So forte means loud. And piano means soft. Yes, correct. Okay, very good. Okay, we're going to skip through this, okay? The whole note, you know this one already, right? Yeah, it's Four beats. Mm -hmm. It's much longer than the half note. So you're going to double the half note, the value of the half note. Okay? 
All right, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, this, uh, yeah, we'll be talking about the music alphabet, okay? I'm sorry if, I, if it's a bit slanted. <laughs> okay, all right, so since we're using uh, not a complete keys, me also, I'm just using a keyboard, so my, my keys are not complete. So we will be starting with, wait, huh? just the middle C. Maybe we can start here. Okay, the lowest key. So you have to go to your left side and uh, can you play the last white key that you see on your left side? Yes, okay. That is C, okay? So how do we find our C? So under the two black keys, we have three white keys, all right? So we have the C, D, and E. Okay? So can you play it on the low, the lowest C, D, and E? C, D, E. C. Good. Okay. Now, uh, yeah, we only have seven letters in the music alphabet. Okay? Before I forget. All right? So we have from A to G only. There's no other... There's no other letters, okay? A to G and then A to G again. All right? There's no other num uh, other there's no other letters, okay? Now, we're going to move forward to the next letters, okay? The next uh, mu musical alphabet. We're going to go to F. F, G, A and B. We can find the F, G, A and B under the three black keys. Okay? All right, is that clear? Can you play the lowest F, G, A, and B that you see there? Okay, F, G, A, B, correct. All right. Now, we're going to find the middle C, okay? I'm going to help you how to uh, find the middle C, okay? So, since the middle C is under the two black keys, we're just going to count which two black keys, all right? So, we're going to start at the top with one. Supposed to be, if our keys are complete, you may find the middle C under the fourth two black key group. But since our keys are not complete, okay, it's just under the third two black key group. Okay, either you're going to be counting uh, on the left side or on the right side. It will always be the third two black key group. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're going to count one, two, three. This is the third two black key group. Sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be showing it to you. Third two blackie group. Then under this, you may find the middle C, C, C. Okay, can you find your middle C there in your keyboard? Okay, can you, uh, can you find it and play it? Pardon? Can you find the middle C and play it, please? Okay. Mm-hmm. I think that's a little high. <laughs> yeah, this one. Can you go a little bit lower? Yes. Okay, that's your middle C. All right. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right. Now we will be doing some uh, warm-up. Okay. Here. Okay, so can you please tell me, is this an up stem note or a down stem note? Notes. Very good. So we will be using our left left hand first. Okay. So we need to place our fingers first in the proper keys. All right. So for the left hand, you need to place your fingers number four, three, and two on the C, D, E. Okay. You know where your middle C is, right? You just have to put it below. Below the middle C, okay? This is your middle C, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, that's your middle C. You have to put your left hand here. Yes, okay? And you have to prepare your right hand here, okay? So we will be playing C, D, 1, 2, then C, D, E, 2. Then the left hand will, will cross over to the next C, D, E, and play C, D, E, same, C, okay? Is that clear? Until you reach the highest C, D, E, okay? 
All right. All right. Let's give it a try. Go. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay. Wait. That C is a white key. All right. Okay. One more time. Good. Now we're off and cross over to go to the next CDE. Go. Mm -hmm. The next one. Yeah. I think yeah, you're playing the same thing. Wait. I will show it to you. Okay. This is where you start, right? Mm -hmm. Can you see my hand? Okay. It's one, two. My right hand. Left hand will cross over and play. You're going to go higher and higher. Okay? All right. All right. Let's try that. Go. Done? Good job. Okay. Very good. That's just a, a warm up. Okay. For, okay. Okay. Can we try this one for the CVE? Now we will be talking about the steps. All right. The steps on the piano. All right. So to play a step, you have to move, move to the next key, next finger, and next letter. Okay. All right. Good. Now kindly place your fingers. In your uh, CDE. Okay? You. Yes. Like this, uh, the one written on the... This one. Just like what you see in the picture. Okay? So for the right hand, you must put your second finger in the middle C. And then third in B. And then E. Okay, all good. Now the left hand is just lower. Fourth finger... Okay. Good. Okay, now we will be playing steps on the piano. Hold on. Now. Can you still see it? Yeah. Okay, or you want me to make it bigger? I can see it. Okay, good. All right. Let's try now with which hand? The right hand. Okay. So there are notes that has numbers and there are notes that uh doesn't have any number. Okay, so... Please be uh, mindful with that, okay? You really need to see if it changed or not, okay? All right. So fix your fingers. All right. Do we start loud or soft? Um, loud. Loud. Okay, perfect. Now let's give it a try, okay? So we're going to count in four again. That's your preparation. One, two, three. Left hand. Second finger go. Great. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's just a simple piece for now. <laughs> but we will we will be learning different pieces next next time. Okay. So this one, this one is about the F G A and B. Okay. Do you want to try this? Okay. Yeah? So, okay. We need two fingers on both hands. So we have to yep. Wait, huh? So one on this side and one on the other side. Um uh, actually they're on the same side. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for your left hand, you have to play F and G. And then for the right hand, A and B. So they are just beside each other. Okay. You'll be starting with the low one. With the low. This one, the low. F, G, A, and B. So F, G, A, B. Crossover again. F, G, A, B. And crossover until you reach the highest F, G, A, and B. Okay. Is that clear? Okay, let's give it a try. It's like you're riding the escalator going up. Okay. Ready? Are yeah, you count first? One, two, three. three. Done? Done with that? Good. Okay. Oh, now here, this is what we're going to learn. Okay. This one is a... Uh, the C5 finger scale. 
Do you know about the C5 finger scale? No. no, it's fine. Yeah, we'll be uh, learning about it today, okay? All right. So when you say, wait lang. Wait. C, C, C. Hold on, hold on. I need to transfer the, okay, there. Ah, it's gone. Sorry. Wait. Uh, there. Okay, can you see it again? Yeah. Okay. So in music, a scale is like a set of stairs that steps up or down from one key to the next. All right. So the C5 finger scale steps up from C and C is the lowest note for each hand. Okay. Therefore, C is your home note. Okay. So for the right hand, okay, it's okay. For the right hand, you must put your thumb on the middle C. You know already where to find the middle C, right? Okay. Okay, can you place your right thumb here in the middle C? Can I hear it? Good. Okay, and then the rest of the fingers. So C, D, E, F, G. Good. G is your pinky. All right. So for the left hand, it's a different uh, finger position. Okay. So your C is on, uh, your thumb is on your C. Okay. On the base C, on the low C. Okay, do you know where your low C is? It's just lower than the middle C. Yep, correct. So that's your pinky going to your thumb. Can you play it? C, D. Good job. All right, now we will be playing the C scale. All right. Now, can you please tell me, is this a down stem note or an up stem note? Um, this is a down stem note. Good. So which hand are we going to use? Left hand the left hand okay very good and there's a change in the dynamics okay so be careful all right so we have forte first and then when we play the right hand it's yeah no okay good remember when you play your thumb you must use the side okay the side of the thumb all right i think you know that already okay so you count in four and then you start playing be careful with the half notes okay all right, all right. Okay, let's get started. Right hand. Very good. Do you want to try to play it together on both hands? Like but slowly. Play. Okay, slowly. Yeah, slowly. Not too fast. Because we're, yeah, we're playing it a little faster. Okay, please do it slowly. Okay, slowly but surely. Well, All right, understand. just like how you count, that's how you're going to play. Oh, I'm sorry. You're saying something? Hmm? At the same time? Like no yes, blood. at the same time. Yes. Okay, but slowly. All right. So just like how you count, that's how you're going to play it. All right. If you count one two three four one two ready play then bum, bum. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so that's a different finger. Okay, so remember your C on your left hand is your pinky, while your C on your right hand is your thumb. Okay, that's not a different finger, darling. Okay, I, that, that's, not, that's not the same finger. Okay, that's a different one. Okay, so for your left hand, you'll be starting with your pinky, for your right hand, with your thumb. So it's going up, then G, 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 then G, F. C, C, C. Okay? You want to try it? Okay. Remember, you have to curve your fingers and use your fingertips. All right. Let's sit up straight, darling. Okay. One, two, three, four. It's, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Maybe we can... Try it a little, um, not too fast, okay? Just slowly, all right? 
Okay, can you try it slowly? Slowly but surely. Yes, don't go too fast. Go. Good. All right. Oh, and it's already time. Okay, wait. Okay, do you have any questions? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Hello. Hi, hi. Uh, what's your name, man? Eh? Uh, I'm Teacher Kina. Teacher Kina? Yes, Kina. Okay. 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 Uh, ma'am, uh, can, can I take another two, a few minutes? I'm sorry? Can I ask you a few questions? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. So, ma'am, uh, so you, uh, you're part of this organization or you're, this is your own, uh, I mean, you do I'm, it yourself? No, I'm, I'm part of, of the, the music school, yeah. This is not, it's not my, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm also a teacher here, yeah. It's not my, uh, my music school, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So now if, um, if we go ahead with this, mm -hmm. then uh, you will be the assigned teacher for Ivan or yes. they will be changing? Yes, yes, I will be the, the teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And you will, you will continue, like, you will continue for long, right? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he doesn't have to adjust with different teachers. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, I can teach until um, book one, but yeah, we will. We need to do a lot of things first before we reach that book. So he will be with me for a long period of time. Okay, okay. If okay. ever you, you enroll, yes. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Comfortable. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you can. You you're comfortable, man. I mean, you can teach. Yes, him? yes, of course. Yeah, okay. I, I'll be very happy to teach him. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. All right, so then, uh, ma'am, what is the next step now? So if how do I enroll him? Uh, is it a, do I need to go online? Do I need to do something? Because I, all I did is, you know, just inquire for it and mm -hmm. some, some 200 pesos, that's about it. But I think <laughs> uh, we'll have to enroll this, right? So what do you suggest yeah. that I should be enrolling him for? Uh, an hour, an hour would be better for uh, for him, hmm. for his age, because 30 minutes is, is uh, too short for him. So yeah. I would suggest an hour and um, maybe they will contact you. I will, I will contact them to uh, contact you about the, the trial class. Yes. Perfect. And, perfect. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, and yeah. I will tell them that you want to proceed. Sorry, sorry, say that again. Uh, I will tell them that you want to proceed with the classes, with the regular classes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. One hour is fine. And it, this is like every day one hour or there are... Few days, uh, right? uh, it's uh, it's only a week, but if you want to have a lesson twice a week, you can also tell them it, uh, yeah, it depends on the schedule. It, it, it usually is once a week, yes, it's once a week, usually. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you want to do twice a week, right? Yeah. But then that's the math teacher in your office time we are for, yeah, that's different time. Yeah, that's me, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Okay, so once a week, you have what days? Uh, twice a week? Yeah, twice a week then. <laughs> yeah, twice a week will work? Twice a week, okay, then I will tell them also so that they can find a schedule for you. Yeah, so twice a week will probably be helpful. Mm -hmm. uh, something which is towards the evening, I think. Towards or maybe the evening. Saturday and Sunday. You can do it probably. I mean, do you do Saturday and Sundays? Yeah, I have Saturday, but Sundays I don't have. Don't, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Yeah, probably Saturday, Saturday definitely I would be keen mm -hmm. because then he can continue even when his school starts because right mm -hmm. now he has vacation, holidays. Okay. His school will start somewhere in August and I don't mm -hmm. intend to stop it. I mean, even beyond mm -hmm. school time, he should be able to do. So Saturdays are usually better. Yes, and, it's better. Uh, mm -hmm. Saturdays we will do. Maybe mm -hmm. for the next few months, we can do twice a week. Yes, mm -hmm. you can start with once a week first and then let's see how about that. Uh... How oh, it goes. Okay. Well, I think it should be fine, right? <laughs> Once a week, it's like, you know, just about five, six, seven, like eight. <laughs> like, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something to learn, right? All right, then we can ask, inform them that we may be interested in twice a week. Okay. Uh, and then let him learn something new. All right. Uh, he does, does play trombone. He's learning trombone mm -hmm. in the school. Mm -hmm. uh, so in introducing this probably will be good because it's kind of, I mean, I think this is good, a good baseline, right? A good base for mm -hmm. understanding the notes. Mm -hmm. For the notes, yeah, note reading. 
Okay. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll see you again next time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.